Hi everyone. Uh, this video is going to uh, try to give you a, a bit of insight into Edinburgh's CBD and its main features. Um, so, as it is the case study that we, we're, we're going to use in class. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, here we are in the centre of Edinburgh and this is Edinburgh Castle that we're starting at. And uh, CBDs often have a, cons have a historical buildings at their centre. The castle would be good evidence of Edinburgh being the CBD, for example. Also, you would find concentrations of religious buildings. For example, you can see church spires. And if we scan the, the horizon, we'll soon find more church spires. As you can see, there is one just here and finding concentrations of churches and other religious centres is more evidence of the CBD. If we um, zoom out a little more, another major feature of the CBD is transport infrastructure. For example, stations such as Waverley Station here, um, a train station, is an example of something that you would evidence that you are in the CBD. Um, furthermore, uh, you would find um, other infrastructure such as bus stations. Now, unfortunately, I can't easily show you the bus station quite so simply, um, but uh, there is major bus connection terminal uh, in this location down here. Now, um, another feature that we find in the CBD is a highly planned street a street design. Now, you can see if I zoom out here. The street design of Edinburgh's new town, for example, with its gridiron streets. Um, these streets make an efficient use of the space. Um, also, Edinburgh has an old town. Let's just return to looking at the castle here. There's the castle. And uh, you can see if we explore the old town of Edinburgh, that it does not have a gridiron street pattern. It has a more confused or chaotic street pattern. And that's because this area was built before there was kind of planning law and um, a, a, an idea about city planning and trying to organize the space in a more efficient way. If we're looking for further evidence of this being the CBD, then we might look for services that are available. So we've discussed so far the presence of historical features like castles and cathedrals, concentrations of religious buildings such as churches, and the street pattern being a gridiron street pattern and transport infrastructure such as train stations. Um, you can see if I filter for um, other features that uh, Edinburgh is full of other services that we can uh, explore. So for example, there are features uh, available for tourists And um, there are music venues, there are um, cafes and restaurants, and um, the kind of thing that you might find on a map would be hotels as evidence of infrastructure for tourists or museums. Now here, right on Princess Street, we have two museums and they would be clearly marked on the map. We have the National Gallery, Scotland, and it's well worth a look if you're ever in town. And uh, also down here on Queen Street, if I can find my way, we have the National Portrait Gallery um, listed just there. So things that tourists can go to are also great evidence of the CBD. Okay, so the main features in the CBD are gridiron street patterns that you can see here, lots of tourist features, as you can see, listed all over uh, the map here, for example, the assembly hall, the portrait gallery, just look at the number of things that are available uh, to go to and to visit. Um, you would find transport infrastructure, for example, the train station that I focused on before, this is Waverley Station, just look at the size of it. You might find also that there are high concentrations of religious buildings and churches. And uh, you might find also historical features, such as uh, castles and cathedrals. 
One last feature that is worth looking out for are root centers. And uh, root centers are quite easy to spot, really. They're where multiple main roads join. And really, a satellite view isn't the best way of doing this. It's better to look at a map, as I'll do with you in class. But here, we have multiple large roads joining. And so this location here could be described as a root center. And it's where all, all the major routes join. And therefore, it is in the central business district central place where businesses are most keen to locate. Um, some CBDs have a lack of open space. Edinburgh, um, of course, is lucky. It has lots of open parkland, but those park areas are protected. You're not allowed to build in them um, because they're historically significant and they lend a lot of beauty and tourist value to the city. However, you can still score marks by saying that the, the areas that are built up are built up very densely with a lack of open space. And you can see that's quite evident if you explore the, the streets of the new town, for example. OK, um, so the next video will explore the inner city.